Welcome to Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy, where we seek to educate, motivate, and inspire professionals into starting their own healthcare businesses. Learn from leading healthcare entrepreneurs and other business experts as they share their journey and provide a glimpse into their playbooks for success. Loaded with valuable insights and actionable strategies, this show will guide you on your path to freedom. Now, please welcome your host, entrepreneur and healthcare practitioner, Jason Duprat. Hey everyone, this is Jason back here for another episode of Tactical Tuesdays. I'm actually recording this episode from the beach. I'm going to try this out. Maybe, maybe I'll like it. Maybe I'll record them all from here. But we have a broken air conditioner in my house, and so the temperature is suboptimal for recording. I think it's been kind of in the range uh, in the area where I record my podcast. Uh, the temperature has been in the range of 86 to 93 so I figured why not uh, get out on the beach and record an episode from the beach and see how it turns out. On today's episode, I wanted to talk about the importance of habits and developing good habits in order to become successful. So over the past like couple of years, I've had the ability and the good fortune to get around multiple high-level entrepreneurs and people who are doing some really great things. And so what I've learned from them through either, you know, courses or paid coaching or introductions from others, what I've learned by meeting these individuals is that they're incredibly meticulous about most of their daily habits. I'm pretty shocked, actually, at at how high-level entrepreneurs actually go about their day. Many of them are, they're not just sort of whimsically moving throughout their day. Everything is sort of systematically planned out. And uh, it really goes to show that the, it goes to show how the power of good habits can really lead to success. And uh, it's really clear after meeting some of these people and hanging out with them that uh, success is not something that happens by accident. You don't become millionaires, multimillionaires. You don't own super successful businesses by accident. These individuals tend to have very strict morning routines. They almost all work out every day or most days of the week. They're very meticulous about what they put into their body, their nutrition. Most of them are very focused on eating very healthy diets, lots of fruits and vegetables. Some do different types of fasting. And so some of these individuals have very specific morning routines like yoga or meditation, or some even get into uh, cold pools like Tony Robbins does that. I haven't met him, but I do know for a fact that he does that. And several other people do that that I have met. They do cold, what they call cold therapy to sort of activate their sympathetic nervous system first thing in the morning to wake them up rapidly and make them alert so they're able to perform at their peak right from the get-go. Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys what I think is incredibly important, something that I never really put much focus on, but uh, like I said, over the last couple of years, it's something I've learned that the super successful are doing. They have really great habits. They treat themselves and their bodies like they're elite athletes. And they, in order to be in the top 0.1%, 0.01%, they do things that are far different than the average Joe, the average business person. They are, they are like Olympic level trainers, but in business and in life so that they are performing optimally every day. And so I'm starting to incorporate some of these things into my own personal habits. And so what I've been personally doing is is setting a set time to go to bed, trying to get there anyways. So I'm trying to get in bed between 9.30 and 10.30. I give myself like an hour range. Starting this this evening routine of drinking hot teas. That's something Ed Milet does. Drinks hot teas. He does sort of warm therapy in the evening, cold therapy in the morning. And so I'm going to start incorporating these into my life because I know that that's what the ultra successful do. And why would I go and deter from the path that is creating success? I'm going to start incorporating things that I know are working for other people. See if they work for me. 
tweak it to my own individual preferences. And so I think that's something that everybody should consider. There's a lot of super successful people out there and you can learn from them. And this is just one of the many things that they're doing. They're creating habits that set them up for success from first thing in the morning to the last thing that they do before they go to bed. And so I would highly encourage you to sort of learn what other people are doing. I mentioned a few of the things here. Some other things are daily gratitude, daily journal writing. There's literally a plethora of different varieties to this that you could take and customize to something that fits your needs. But I'm a huge believer in if you want to do what successful people are doing, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Start incorporating some of the things that they're doing daily into your life. And that's exactly what I'll be doing. And I'll be keeping you posted on what I'm finding out that works and what's not working so much for me. And hopefully you will be able to share the same thing. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me on this episode of Tactical Tuesday. And if you could please leave a rating and review, I would totally appreciate it. Um, it goes a long way towards helping us get some really good guests on here for the interview episodes. And hopefully you enjoyed the sound of the waves in the background. Hopefully there's not too much wind noise in this episode. But it's sort of uh, another thing that I'll talk about on the next episode, which is uh, just got to get things done one way or the other. You don't always have to be perfect. And that's going to be the topic of my next episode, actually. So we'll talk to you guys later, and we will see you on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy. Want to connect with more like-minded healthcare entrepreneurs and professionals? Just head over to jasondepratt.com slash group to join our Facebook family for real-time interactions, insight, and resources to get you one step closer to realizing your goal. We look forward to interacting with you, but until then, we'll catch you on the next episode of the Healthcare Entrepreneur Academy.